Hi, and welcome to this channel where we will keep now we'll get update on waiting they happen for Biafra territory and how the Islamic State they attack begin. The Sioux soldier has a complaint say they are hungry to send them on a dead errand. On our team, say Dr. Cho and Prime Minister, we will be ruthless in our self defense against our enemies. We can hear the update from Prime Minister. Thank you very much. Are you are you in touch with the Director General of the Foreign Affairs, the Biafra Republic Government in exile? Uh, not yet. What are you? I will focus. Okay, just okay, okay. Just hold on, uh, um, uh, Professor Professor Joe Irobi. Can you um, uh, take the mic and uh, uh, you know introduce yourself to this brother, uh, Professor Joy? Nairobi is the Director General of Foreign Affairs Department of the Biafra Republic of Nigeria, and of course she is also uh, in the Deutschland. So uh, you can collaborate with her. I've also sent you a message if for a follow-up. Maybe Joy, Professor Joy is not available at this point. So I've just sent you a message for a follow-up. So we can, I can have the follow up with that information. But in case uh, Professor Joy contacts you, you accord, accord her every attention that you should have accorded to me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Plus, good Thank you. Thank you, Mazi Fatu. And uh, Professor Joy, please, if you are there, just uh, come up and then uh, you can the mic and. Uh, that I could take with our brother. Thank you. Please, the travel vlog. I've got a travel vlog from Israel. I saw you before. As I was trying to give you the microphone, you disappeared. You can come up back and then I'll give you the mic. You might have uh, some situation reports for us. And uh, Ugo, please grab the mic now. You have to discuss. Ugo to Kubia. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I will love them. And uh, our list of information, I salute each and every one of you. My PM, I salute you, uh, the prayer as I said. I just want to, I, I don't want to, because I have 60 seconds, I, I know that everything concerning um, our cousins, Israel, you have already put everything in place. But my concern is um, when I was in one space, they were asking me a question, what, because the water has passed Gade in the, in one Nigeria people's side. So one of them was asking me, they don't care who defends the village in Enugu State. That was attacked. That was uh, the Igwe was killed, and the terrorists uh, men in uniform from the zoo arrested. Zoo means Nigeria. Sorry for those that are here. Arrested all the young men from the village, and uh, we are kind of asking, what is the measures? You may answer direct or indirectly, my brother and my PM. Um, what are we doing? Because there is a plan that the terrorists are coming back again. Because uh, according to them, they say in the afternoon, they are there with uniform, three, five o'clock. In the evening, they change their uniform to terror to invade the village. So please, uh, yeah, what are the measures to make sure we secure people here? Thank you. I think uh, the one Nigeria should be the better, should be a better place to answer that, P2B. Should be in a better place to give them measures they are taking. For those who believe in Biafra, we have our measures to protect Enugu people, those of the affected villages, and it's not something that I'm going to answer to them. They should just watch and they hear the news. Thank you. I'm aware of that. I just wanted them to hear from you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. But please, please, next time you are with them, just tell them to consult P2B. You want to hear P2B too, not only me. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Thank you, my thank you. brother. Yeah. My thank you. Uh, thank you, PM. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Hugo. Uh, please, I will, uh, if you want to ask question, please do raise your hand, please. Biggest Gidi, uh, come up uh, in 60 seconds. Yeah, well, great, PM. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, you have been doing a very great job. In fact, this year, I've seen a lot of good things. I'm from Old Delta, Palace Discovery. So I really want to thank you because if nobody is coming to tell the people the truth, you are telling the people the truth. If nobody is coming to see that the useless Nigerian government has wasted our life, wasted our resources, wasted the good part of us. In the past um, 15 years, there hasn't been electricity. And these people are collecting the oil from our land. If you like, go 
That is one thing I have to tell everybody. But we will take this particular uh, formation of the Biafra police state by state on a very, very low key until we come out like bees. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. I appreciate your answer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mazidani. Thank you very much. All right, uh, the next person who stands up is uh, Mazi Citizen Dama. Citizen Dama, grab the mic. All right, uh, good evening, Mr. P. and Sir. Uh, the 2023 saw a lot of um, surprises uh, with the statement by the Nigerian state that. Uh, an evil man is not fit to be present after it will be won the election, followed by several attacks on evil investment and lies across the country, especially in the southwestern part of Nigeria, where evil businesses and properties were burnt down and destroyed. That made a lot of um, people from the eastern region to have some kind of retrospection into their state in Nigeria as a country. Then the disappointment of the videos and some pro evil um, elements. I was in a space where you are hosted by Odogu TV, Odogu Ogiti, where you try to entertain some questions and explanation on the Biafra struggle. I eventually left the space because of the uh, misunderstanding of what I cannot understand. So my question to you directly is, now there seems, there seems to be a lot of sympathy towards the Biafran agitation. What steps are you taking to bring in the obedience and the pro evil elements into your struggle? Thank you. Our doors remain open. The step is very simple. We open our doors for those who understand that Nigeria is not for them. And so we will not uh, allow you to come in and destroy what we have done. So when you come, you must respect the fact that people pay, the life, pay with their lives to build the structure of government that you are now proud of today. So you have to talk and wait for your turn when, if you have convinced us enough, that you have something actually to offer, you will be allowed to serve their friends in any capacity. But for now, you must be able to prove to us that you are not coming in hoping that the Biafra government is a political pressure group where you will come and hang yourself and wait for 2017 to 2027. So you will now begin to talk about little bit. No, we will not give opportunity for any political talk or political pressure group in the Biafra government. It is either you are for the independence of Biafra, or you are out. So our door is open. It, Biafra is not for Simon Ekpa. Biafra is for everybody who believes that they are Biafra. And those who believe that Nigeria is no longer attainable for them. So it is not, Biafra is not a property of me, of myself. It's not a property of Mazen and Dekan. It is for everybody. So your freedom is what should be the best, the biggest priority for you. So our doors are open. The approach we are using now is to make sure that everybody is a welcome to the liberation phase. And that starts with your own character, your behavior, and your attitude towards the liberation of Biafra. Not being used as a political tool to attack Simon Ekba and the Biafra government. Not being used as a political tool to claim that Simon Ekba is bringing insecurity. Like I'm happy for one of them that came here to talk about uh, whether we are using violence, and everybody knows who is bringing violence. The history of how Nigeria brought violence to be our land is there. What we did now is to say that you can't kill us again and we'll pick up arms to defend ourselves. And they turn around to say we are bringing, we are the one who bring violence to the southeast. The, but they have forgotten when they were killing people carrying flag. Not only that they have killed their friends, they also killed those who believe in Nigeria. The lucky to get shooting is still fresh in our brain. They were carrying a Nigeria flag. And what people should understand from that single act is that the people who call themselves leaders of Nigeria today are not actually leading Nigeria. They have something else 
they are fighting for. Not about Nigeria. And that's what many people don't understand. And that particular thing they are fighting has manifested. It's called the Islamic State. Yes, now you're waiting, Prime Minister Toxi. Now the Islamic State only tried to achieve for a long time, and British finally don't help them achieve her. Even I remember in 1989, Babangida paid 21 billion naira of Nigeria money for the organization of Islamic State OIC that year. And they don't finally achieve her. But we will not care about that one. I won't be saying we want our liberation. Now, be afraid, be afraid. For this matter, I'm going to rest my case. Now, thank you.